JTMM. What's up, y'all? It's your boy JTMM, aka Just Ten More Minutes, aka The Freaking Ten, back with another reaction video. And this time, I am happy to say it's Nightwish. Um, I posted. Forgive me, I don't remember if it was Elon or Elon. Um, this morning, and. It, the response to that with the comments from the Nightwish fans has been unbelievable. Gave me a whole list of videos of where to start from, which was amazing. So um, I grabbed the Ghost Love Score live first. I just love the name of it. So that that's really why I grabbed this one first. I don't know anything about it or anything. Um, for those that are new to the channel and to my reaction videos, let me explain how I do things real quick. I do one take. That's it. If I may mess up on the intro where um, I didn't switch my screen back, I will stop it and I will restart it. Once the music stops, or excuse me, starts, it does not stop. Why? I don't want to fake reactions. I see so many reactors out there that, you know, you can kind of tell they probably saw it before. Um, <clears throat> and I never want to be just someone that fakes it right and go oh my god that's so great no i i want you to get my true reaction so that's why i do one take one take only so with that being said let's switch it up and get to this video so let me also explain what's important to me um I, i've been a lyricist for 30 years um i've written a ton of songs uh, it's not my profession. I wish it was, but it, it's never been my profession. Uh, but it's always been my passion. And so when I started this channel, I really said, you know, to me, it's about the story that they're telling and how that relates to everyday lives and how I interpret it versus maybe how they wrote it. Um, but it's always good to know the backstory afterwards, you know, for me to understand, you know, did I interpret it the same way that they intended or did I do it differently? And then also for me, the music videos, you'll see me do the music videos. I like to see if the story they tell in the video matches the words um, that they're saying. That's just a thing for me. So you may see two videos pop up with the same song. That's why. With that being said, my second night wish song, this is Ghost Love Score. Let me get this full screen. Let me make sure that I've got, I've got the music up. Audio is good. Let's roll. Okay, so I'm gonna stop before she starts. <laughs> People that know that that have watched my vids, um, now no, I don't like long intros. Um, it, usually for me, it's about this telling of the story. I think what's different with Nightwish is it's still part of the story, just because when you when you bring an orchestra into things and a symphony into things. Um, there's a different dynamic to it. It just, again, my personal opinion. Because you're talking about a longer 
piece of music, right? In general, right? They they may have some that are short. I think I, I'm seeing that this one's ten minutes. So you you've got a longer score. No, I guess no pun intended or pun intended. And that tells it that tells the story, and that's part of it, right? So this intro leads up to it. So normally I would be saying that I uh, I'm not a fan of the long intros. But when you're adding this type of dynamic into it, that's a totally different concept. So I appreciate that. So I'm going to back it up. Um, I'll let her go through probably. I'll see how the it flows in my head. Again, not being familiar with how they compose all of those. I want to see uh, where the good breaks are so I can go in and truly analyze the lyrics and see you know what my interpretation is. So I apologize for the, the long verbose there, but let's take it back. So I'll, I'll stop there and I'm hoping that <clears throat> I'm stopping in the right place. But here's what I like. Again, this is kind of my first live performance of them. Um, so this may be a little verbose. So we used to swim in the same moonlight waters, ocean away from the wakeful day. And then she says, my fall will. Now, where I was where I was losing it and and I think I'm going to have to get a different pair of headphones because I was running into this with uh, some other videos but I heard the choir in the background but I wasn't quite making out what they were saying and luckily I've got the words right here but my fall will be for you my love will be in you if you be the one to cut me I'll bleed forever holy hell and then they repeat that right We used to swim in the same moonlight waters, oceans away from the wakeful day. My fall will be for you. My love will be in you. If you be the one to cut me, I'll bleed forever. I mean, to me, I'm getting a dynamic of a relationship, right? If you be the one to cut me, if you be the one to hurt me, I'll hurt forever. And then, sent to the sea before waking of the world. Bring me to thee into the blue memory. Wow. I love the dynamics, right? And my, my Ginger Army fans um, will say, right, it, it, they know that I love these switch-ups, right? When you're in a song and you're taking one direction and out of nowhere you switch it and it just seems seamless, like kind of what they've done with a couple of the pieces that to me tells a story in itself because you're in emphasizing the meaning uh, of the song right at certain points and then you're bringing it back and, and making those points and boom slapping them in the face it all tells an amazing story i'm appreciating it we're, we're only two minutes into 10 minutes so let's get back to it let me just pull back a little bit i don't want to be 
Disrespectful. I'm going to cut it right there because I, I want to... These next two voices are insane. Excuse me, verses. A siren from the deep came to me, sang my name, my longing. Still I write my songs about that dream of mine, worth everything I may ever be. The child will be born again, that siren carried him to me. First of them, true loves, singing on the shoulders of an angel without care for love and loss. Wow. It makes me question my relationship um, thought, right? Just based on the, you know, if, if if you be the one to cut me, I'll bleed forever. I mean, that, that sounds like if you hurt me, I'll hurt forever. So I'm very curious on verse 3 and 4, how that ties in to the overall song. And I see there's more, but... It's fascinating. I'm digging this.
gonna pause again because these lyrics are fascinating. The bring me home or leave me be, my love in the dark heart of night. I've lost the path before me, the one behind will lead me. Think about that, right? I've lost the path and and, and the night wish fans, y'all are probably going, well duh. I love breaking this stuff down, so <laughs> bear with me. I've lost the path before me, all right? But the one behind will lead me. Wow. How many times have you lost your way only to have everything that you've been through lead you, right? I mean, that's part of life and the journey that we take. And so to, to call that straight out like that is just beautiful. And then take me, cure me, kill me, bring me home every way, every day. Just another loop in the hangman's noose. And then the line that got me, relive the old sin of Adam and Eve, of you and me, forgive the adoring beast. Wow. Now, I'll, I'll ask from, from the Nightwish uh, fam, this doesn't look like the same singer, so I'm judging that they've uh, switched out. Um, cause she doesn't sound the same from what I remember from the one I posted. So let me get back to it. This, that pop back in out of that long delay, I wasn't expecting that quick. So for them to kind of come in, I won't say off measure, but it, it was, you know, you're, you're counting the bars and the measure, right? And, and it's almost like you got to three and you know, four is coming, but they said, uh, 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 and boom, they came in. Right on three. That was beautiful. I really like that. Okay, let's get back and finish this.
Yeah, I still stick to my my thought on it being about uh, a relationship. Just my fall will be for you. My love will be in you. You're the one. You were. Oh, wow. I didn't even catch that. You were the one to cut me. So I will bleed forever. Wow. So, yeah. I mean, it, it sounds like they were in a relationship. She said, if, if you were to ever cut me or if you were ever to hurt me, that I would bleed forever. And you were the one to cut me. Wow. Okay, now it makes sense. Sorry, I was redeem me into childhood. Show my show me myself without the shell. Like the advent of May, I'll be there when you say time to never hold our love. Wow. Redeem me into childhood. Show me myself without the shell. I mean that always sounds like I mean when I when I see the show me show my show me myself without the shell, right? We always say we're a shell of ourselves. Um, especially with when a breakup happens, we, we tend not to be ourselves, and so stuff happens, and we're not that person. That's interesting. I don't know if that's what it is, right? I, I could be completely off, um, but that's kind of what I'm interpreting here. Uh, Ten minutes. It, it it didn't seem that long. Um, I guess really well let me let me switch it back before I close it. So I think what I would say about this is this is my my true introduction. Right? I saw their official, this is kind of my first introduction to their live performance and and during a live performance and I even think um uh, the great amazing person that gave me this list even mentioned and, and people in the comments have mentioned watch the live because they do kind of take it to that next level. I apologize. It's actually 1220 in the morning. Um, and they did, right? I mean, but what I watched and, and this is one of the things I watch for is the crowd, the musicians. Are, are they playing to get a paycheck? Or are they playing because they love it? Um, and now this is older, so, you know, a different time in music. Today, people write songs for a paycheck and not really care about anything else um, in a lot of the mainstream music. So when I see these like this that truly care, again, I apologize, one take. You're going to see the real me. Um, and it's not against them. Uh, to see the crowd, right? And to, to see the performance and the show they put on is phenomenal. I'll also point out for me that was really cool is when she left the stage right at the end, it truly left the focus, right? She did her part, but it truly left the focus to the music around and let that music tell the story with the, the choir. That was really cool. I like that. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I appreciate it greatly for the suggestion. I've got a lot more Nightwish to go, obviously. I'm just starting this journey. If you like the video, please drop me a like, subscribe, or share. I am marching towards that thousand. And if you haven't heard, the thousand is the five-minute Toe of Satan challenge. The longest I've ever done is three minutes with this. Nine million Scovels. I want to hit the five. With that being said, I love each and every one of you. And always remember, if someone asks you to stop what you're doing, don't ask for one, don't ask for two. You know what? I'm tired right now, so I'm going to say don't ask for five minutes. If someone asks you to stop what you're doing, always ask for just ten more minutes. I love each and every one of you. I am out of here. KTML.